Aaron Ramsey came on. He's the Manchester City's youngest ever player in league football. 16 years, 123 days, beating John Toshak's 42-year-old record. Aaron, it's fair to say you've had a pretty good career in football since you joined us way back when, all those years ago. We've got some of your career highlights here. We're going to talk through them, starting with this one here. Breaking through at Cardiff City, that Ninian Park crowd, what can you remember about those early years as a Blue Blood? Oh yeah, they were fantastic, obviously, uh, coming through the academy here. To finally go on and, and to become a first team player and to play at Ninian Park was so special. And every time I played there, it was just a great atmosphere and it was just a real special place. Of course then, that FA Cup run, the run all the way to the final, you came on of course in that final. What was the feeling like around the city, around the camp, the squad, in those weeks leading up to that final? Yeah, it was amazing. Obviously, we just kept progressing and we found ourselves in the final. So, um, yeah, there was a real good buzz around the city. To go there and to play in an FA Cup at 17 was, uh, was really special. And, um, yeah, I think it just brought everybody together. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, uh, a historical moment for, for Garda, really. And, of course, replacing the late, great Peter Whittingham, what did you learn from Wits when you were coming through and how important was he for your career in those early stages? I oh, yeah. Wits was, uh, was brilliant. I mean, the young v old sessions, he used to just, you know, he was on a different level back then, you know, two or three nutmegs and things like that. And his quality and, and, and how he represented Cardiff over all them years is second to none. And um, it's such a shame that he's, he's no longer with us and, you know, but for what he's done for us uh, as a club. Um, it's been remarkable and he'll forever be remembered. You of course then moved to Arsenal, came back in that FA Cup game at Ninian. Your first years at Arsenal getting into that side, what can you remember about that time? Yeah, obviously against Joe there. Yeah, it was just really weird. Obviously it was really nice to go back and play, play there again, but um, it was just a real weird thing playing against Cardiff. Then of course you rejoined us on loan. Six game and beaten run, as you said, and that derby win down in Swansea, setting up Craig Bellamy for the winner. That must have been a good moment for you. Yeah, that was unbelievable. You know, to play um, in the Welsh derby was, was pretty special and, and to come away from there with all three points was, uh, was really nice. So, yeah, my time back here in that short spell um, couldn't have gone any better, really. And yeah, it was just uh, another, you know, another memorable experience for me. Returned again to South Wales in the Premier League with Arsenal, of course. Scored here, no celebration. A round of applause from the City fans. That was a really special moment for all of us here. And a strange moment, I'm sure, for you, but a nice one as well. Yeah, of course. I think, obviously, the first time I came back to play against Cardiff was, it all happened very quickly and it was all, you know, emotions were all over the place. But then here, um, you know, a bit more experienced um, and things like that and just wanted to sort of show you know, uh, my appreciation towards Cardiff in, in what they've done for me in my career. And they played a, a massive role in, in helping me achieve what I've achieved so far. Then another proud moment for you, that FA Cup win, the winning goal in an FA Cup final. How did that feel with that group of players as well? Was that the best football of your career, perhaps, at that spell? I think it was definitely up there, yeah, to top that season off with, with a winner uh, and to lift a bit of silverware having gone a long period of time without at Arsenal. Uh, it, was, it was very special and it's the sort of thing you dream about as a boy, to score a winner in, in the FA Cup final. So um, yeah, to, to live there and experience that was uh, yeah, unbelievable. I'm sure something else you dreamed about, of course, your international career and this moment here in Toulouse, scoring that opening goal against Russia. That whole European campaign really put Wales on the map. Your finest moment in football, perhaps? Honestly, the six, seven weeks that we had there was, you know, was up there with, you know, the best memories I've, I've had in football. You know, to, um, to spend it with a group of lads who all got on so well and would leave absolutely everything on the pitch for each other. Um, just epitomise what we're all about, really. And, and there's no coincidence that we got to the semi-finals of the European Championship. So, yeah, an unbelievable experience, which, you know, will, you know, for something like that to happen again, you know, it would have to be something, uh, something special. Another FA Cup win, another winning goal for you. How did that one compare to the first? Yeah, uh, again, to to relive, you know, that sort of 
childhood dream twice is uh, is pretty rare. So again, amazing feeling to to do that and um, to win another bit of silverware with Arsenal. Um, and yeah, just a really proud moment for me and my family again. Of course, playing for Arsenal, you then moved to Juventus, another huge club, winning the league title there. How was your Italian experience and a different culture from playing in the English game? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, things happened um, at Arsenal and, and didn't quite you know, sort things out there. So when um, this opportunity came up then, obviously, I was really excited about this move and, um, and to go there and to win the Scudetto in the first year was, uh, was really special. So um, yeah, that'll forever, forever be with me and something that I'd be you know, really proud of doing. Things didn't go quite the way I envisaged them um, with you know, certain injuries and things like that. But on whole, you know, an amazing experience for me and my family to go there and, um, and to play for you know, one of the European powerhouses. And last but certainly not least, qualifying for the World Cup with Wales here at Cardiff City Stadium. A great day in the bad weather, of course, but a memory for you that must be right up there with your best. Yeah, of course, obviously waiting all them years to qualify for a World Cup and, and to finally do that here. We've had some real special nights here, but this was definitely up there with one of the, one of the best. I think the whole circumstance, um, you know, having the delay, um, being against Ukraine and things like that, um, just just added to the whole thing and, and made it you know even more rewarding at the end. I'm sure Aaron will be able to add one more picture at the end of your Cardiff City career. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.